Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to modify the uh, Interpet CF3 filter. It's supposed to filter 90 litre aquariums to uh, 160. I believe the way I'm going to modify it is going to, you know, bring that up to maybe 260, 300 litre. Um, we have two of them, there's one and there's one. Okay, here's some of the equipment I've got and here's a sponge. I'm going to tell you where I got this sponge from first. This sponge is on the end of a power head and it looks like a brick and it's made by Flovel. Okay, so what I did is I chopped it and I chopped it either side. So now we removed it from being like a brick shape. Okay, so now I place this inside my filter vertically and it's a snug fit to the bottom of that filter. Okay, don't know if you've seen in there, but it's a snug fit. Okay, I'm going to bring it back out so you can see. Then I got, it just seems to work, it wasn't the way I designed it but it's worked. I got these uh, carbon by Flovel Edge and I decided to have a play around just before I did this video. And I noticed it sat in there very nice as this is what these sponges are designed for. It's for a Flovel filter to allow media in. So then we plunk this in the CF filter as so. So we have thick coarse foam media, then what we did, we cut some wool, like that, got a whole lot of it there, um, it only cost me about a fiver for it, then I cut to size, washed, and then we place, simply place in the filter like that, so now we have like a three stage filtration, so that will make the water crystal clear. This is what I already had in my filtration system. And it'll go on top like that. Okay. Now I was debating putting some more stuff in there, like uh, some more pond one. But I've decided against it as I'll have a nice trickle coming out. So that's the way to soup this filter up really good. Um, Keep this clip if you have a tank like mine as well, it comes with a filter. I have uh, suction cups on my tank, but it was always dropping. Now if you look at the way this filter is designed, it's designed for cartridges. But I noticed that slits in right there, like that, okay. You could silicone this in. I don't really want to silicone it in at this moment because I'm using the filter. So what I do, I pull, pull the tank up. If you have a tank like mine, I'm not able to do it now, so I'm going to fill the tank up. I'll show you. But if you have a tank like mine, you'll have an edge like that. So it gives it a bit of support instead of falling down with the weight. I'm going to fill the tank up and I'll get back to you and show you what I mean. I'm filling the tank up, but whilst I'm here, I want to show you something that I do. So I have um, a thermometer, okay, it's digital. So when I'm doing a water change, I take this little part out and I run it under my hose, okay. And we have a look at what the temperature's coming. So it's 26.1 at the moment, so you keep it under there for about 30 seconds to get a full reading. It's going down a bit. Let's just keep an eye on that. So I could do with turning it up a tiny bit. But I'm not too concerned. Let me see what the water temperature is saying in the tank. As long as it's staying around 27, then I'm fine with that. I'm going to put some chlorine control in now. Whilst we see what it's saying inside the tank. Let's see what it's saying, 26.1. Put some chlorine control in there. Yeah, we're getting back up to the 27 marker. So it's not fluctuating it that much so I'm happy with that yeah we're getting there we're getting there so we're filling this up 26 yeah it's going up a nice lip hopefully we can get 27 out of this I think we're gonna get it I think we're gonna achieve it 
We always keep an eye on it though guys because it could change at any time and then I just alter the taps you see. So anyway I'm just going to fill this up and close to where I want to be, give or take, and um, I'll show you the filter system running soon. Now the chlorine controls in, not much of a fluctuation in temperature so I'm happy with that. I'm going to add some filter start okay, um, it's a fairly new aquarium so I'm going to start start this up so it can uh, kick start the filters in quick, quicker because I had an ammonia spike uh, it does say half a cap for 180 litres it's about a 320 tank so we'll put that in there we'll put another cap half a cap full in here but also all it really is is live bacteria so why not, whilst the filters are off, put some in the filter system, okay? Whilst I'm filling my tank up, I might as well show you this tip. If you don't have a good connector and it's leaking water, okay? What I suggest you do is you get a cloth that has no, has not been used for washing, I mean drying pots with soap, okay? And put this, it'll stop spillage. If it comes down the pipe here, you either get some kitchen roll, like this and it'll catch it instead of going all over your floor okay that's another one another option